red bow tie. I have no idea why it's called that. Maybe because it's got Not creme de cassis. Well. Oh, oh, it's got it's got sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth is I'm red. using Lille Rouge. It's a red fortified wine type thing. It may Lillet. not be. Uh, no. It may not be the traditional sweet vermouth, but it's better, so I figure I'd use a better and ingredient. I'm here, so it needs to be better. <laughs> it needs to be better. I'm going to use this to pour out so my I water. Will cry. In it. Uh, we're going to use oh, it a quarter of an ounce of Cointreau, a quarter of an ounce of creme de cassis, which is your black currant. You've got your orange liqueur, your sweet vermouth for your your wine flavor. Gin, we're gonna use green hook gin smith, so it's gonna have a little bit of floral chamomile type herbal flavor. And then an orange zest. Me and Jennifer were arguing my about gin, that. But... You already used your gin. So now you it's lose. The only gin I will ever use. So we're doing this my way. Or the highway. Sweet Ow. vermouth, let's <laughs> my see. Arms. Um we don't have. Hey, Brianna, oh. can you go get my mixing beaker in the in the in the refrigerator? No, <laughs> Dry, washing machine. No, what's the thing that washes dishes? Dishwasher. You know the one with the little the glass Let one with the little lip on it, the little D pour D spout, baby. the big oh, yeah. one that has this pour spout on it. Hey, we were look. using it for sour mix yesterday. I'm about to do a quarter. It's about half of a half. That's not half of a half. <laughs> I know, it's a little bit more. That's like a half. A half of no, a half is actually half. halfway up the half. It is. It's still like a half. It's not a half. You pour over the little bump, you said. Okay, but not over the bump like to the next line. Yes. That's a half. No. Yeah. Whatever. Half. Well, no. Now you're going to use this one. Fill that with uh, After you just creme de cassis. Yelled at me about doing quarters. Yeah. Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, what? Because. Because I said. Here, no. Use this one instead. <laughs> We're gonna use a half ounce. I'm gonna do the nice easy half yeah. ounce pour. That's good. That's good. No. No singing about sales. Sale. Why is that? What? I don't understand. I don't understand what the song's about either. It reminds me too much of Nine Inch Nails, and I know people like them, but I don't. <laughs> Ounce and a half gin. It's gonna love That's gin. all of your roommate. Your old roommate loved Nine Inch Nails. He did. Just a little bit. So you put two ingredients in here, so we're good to go. Slap me a two, couple yeah. ices in there. I don't like your ice scoop. <laughs> well, because the ice scoop wasn't made for these ice. Oh. But these ice are now. Really? There's absolutely no reason for what you just did. <laughs> There's definitely no reason for whatever that action was. Seriously? How much you been drinking, woman? Apparently too much coconut rum. Oh yeah, you took a couple sips out of that. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two things at once. Oh, multitask. I'm not doing oh. this stirring one very good, though. <laughs> your brain can't, like, rub your head and pat your stomach. Yeah, see, look, I, I have a... Yes. I, I, but I have a pat your head. pattern when I do this way, and not so much the other way. So, this is what we're going to do. You ready for this? Blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow. Mind is blown. <laughs> <laughs> I watched you pour a drink in a cup. Mind blown. Totally. <laughs> no. I went the wrong way. We're gonna get. Don't point that at me. A zest on an orange that is a little bit stale. Stale. Doesn't really work. Same. Huh? Blame it on my ADD, baby. Uh, did I start it didn't you up say here? twist. Ah, but it uses an orange zest. Yeah, zest, not twist. Listen. You're doing it all wrong. It, it, this is an orange zest. No, it's not. It's an yeah. orange twist. I'm zesting the orange. I'm getting out the, the oils. Plus, it looks bad, eh? Slow down! Boom! You can drink that first. <laughs> Can see the nice oils across the top. Oh, the orange. 
It's like Valdez. Oh, smells it's like a great oil spill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the Exxon Citrus Valdez. <laughs> it smells like beautiful orangeness. We gotta save the poor duckies. From their orangeness. Why'd you almost spill that picking it up? It's, it's stuck. stuck. Nothing down there. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> I didn't make it stick. I'm not lying to you. And I have a nice, awesome aroma of citrus. Didn't like it. It's horrible. <laughs> Why? Because it's not my type of drink. Mm. It's all right. Would I drink it? No. <laughs> so, by Doug standards, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's it's fine. It's Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Um, <laughs> Love you, Doug. <laughs> he won't even see this episode. Uh, this is citrusy, but at the same time, berry-like flavor with that fortified wine. So it definitely you got get a, the gin. There's a little. You definitely want a gin that you like. I'm not getting a crap ton of gin. I am feeling it on the on the Lillet and the and the Cointreau and the Zest. It's a little bit of maybe I get gin. black currant, but you, you You want a good gin. A gin that you like. Unlike me, I couldn't use a gin I liked. <laughs> wanna try this one? No, it's alright. The gin's okay. She just doesn't want to try it. I already had so much coconut rum, you don't understand. It's not going to be that much gin. You don't have to take like a seven ounce jig. I don't know what I just had. Oh! Well, it's going to have a little <laughs> bit of... <laughs> that is a screenshot. Oh, that's horrible. N not the that's flavor. That's fine. <laughs> it, the, the horrible part being the, the blast of... Explosive. I don't know my eyes watering. Yeah. What is you're kind of a wimp, huh? Yes. Green Hook Gin yes, Smiths. I'm crying. American dry gin. <laughs> so it's already gonna have lots of cool American flavors to it, which typically are gonna be citrus. In Usually this case, citrus, chamomile, but uh, which we've already it's got. It's not necessarily in. that bad. <laughs> <laughs> the, you wouldn't know it from the drama. That just occurred here with <laughs> crying. It's like I just gave her like habanero bitters <laughs> or something. Which oh, I should have brought those down and had you try those. The new firewater bitters nope. so Scrappy's released. Oh, fire. I'm gonna make a cocktail with them. Anyway. Um so Wow. I don't get that I I mean the gin. You don't without, get that gin in there? Try again. That gin is in there. <laughs> I don't know. It's in the recipe. <laughs> It's in there. It's like Prego. If you swish it around in your mouth, you get the aromas of it. Like yes, there's definitely it's in yeah, there. you get it. It's it's easier to detect it after trying it and getting that I flavor it right and being away. able to pull it out. Unlike you, I'm a master because I got it right away. Where you needed to taste the gin to get it. Unlike you, <laughs> I tasted the gin and went, oh okay, not. <laughs> I cry, cry, cry! <laughs> now I'm a walker. Yeah. Sorry, I've been walking, walking dead. Uh, so she's now got problems, and the drink itself is definitely got a berry flavor, gin played off of Gin-tastic. like the citrus, gin, and uh, the the berries and the the lilé. You kinda. it's a gin you like. Or the, I mean, it's the an vermouth. Ounce of ounce and a half of. <laughs> wow, it's an ounce and a half of, of gin. gin. Where everything else is a quarter, quarter and a half. So right. I would definitely say when you take and you channel knife your, you can get these at Austin Drinks, not this one, this is Solaire now. Uh, this is a curd one, but we sell them. And when you channel it, make sure you really ch channel it away from channel me. Channel the, <laughs> the, the, the oil sacks to shoot off Seriously? into the, yeah, into the drink. Because that gives that nice oil aroma right on the top. Yeah, you could also Valdez. maybe use bitters, but I think this drink fits fine the way it is. It's not off balance. Did you say it was Vina, via Jonas? No, Jonas submitted this recipe. Thank you, Jonas, for the red bow tie cocktail. Unlike Jennifer, who's not so, it's fine. But um, I said it's fine. This is a drink that that Doug and Curtis like, would like. This is a Curtis. Doug, Doug would probably drink. like it because Doug loves gin. 
true. So, you know, if you're if you have found yourself in line with what Doug would like on the show, you will probably find that this recipe fits your palate to the T. Good good change up using gin yeah, and awesome. not making a gin and tonic, gin yeah. and juice. It's something different that's still gin centric. It's not bad. It's just not my drink. No. Uh, that's 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 all I got. I could drink it. <laughs> <laughs> and you just did. And I did. No, so, but like if I ordered it at a restaurant, you could finish it, it came and I'd be like, oh, it's not my drink, but it's not so bad that I couldn't drink it. Like your Mai Tai with um, the Campari. Campari in it. <laughs> <laughs> I finished that. You did finish it. I was I'm a warrior. Say, I wouldn't finish that. But I still think that she passes over to me and swap drinks. Would not be the first time. No, Anything with grapefruit, she's like, you want this one? You know, she'll <laughs> take whatever mine is, doesn't matter what it is. It could be a zombie, she's just going to take that over the grapefruit. One. Yeah, when I got a sea breeze. Yeah, that was it. That's good grapefruit. Um, so there. Not a grapefruit fan. That's it. Question of the day. Let's see if anybody over here has got a question. Uh, I don't see any QOTDs up in there. So I guess I'll go with a little gin question. What is your favorite herbal, su herbal supplement? What is your favorite herbal note in a gin uh, you know is it like i like this because it's got that like the chamomile, chamomile and that flowery note the same with uh the floraison from g-vine g -vine, um, yeah. there's a couple of them that have that the citrus of like a blue coat gin has or a nice you not citrus like oh well, yeah maybe you don't um or strong juniper hendrix notes has beef eater cucumber cu cucumber from hendrix gin pine from beef eater tangeray or the oxley gin which oxley is, just is very very distilled <laughs> it's not neutral no but it's a dry you don't get dryness out of a vodka but oxley is a very refined dry gin that i think meets meets a good qualification for what we think of as a dry gin today if you don't like gin what's your favorite nuance in a vodka because if you like vodka that much I'm like digging the Ivanovich, like uh, whatever flavor I was getting out of there. Cranberry? No, I can't remember what it was. What? What if I, Just the plain? Mm -hmm. Oh. I like uh, Absolute. I really like Absolute. Absolute's the wheat. Vodka. That's a night The um, other one, too. Oh, Ciroc? Ciroc is pretty good. Yeah, with a grape that's a little yeah, sweeter bit. Sweeter. To it. Not, it doesn't taste like grapes, but it, it ha it's vodka, but it has a little sweeter sweet nuance. What's your favorite nuance of a drink? And I'm not like. The nuance of this is black currant. It's not a nuance. This is freaking black currant. This would be like a specific flavor that you have to work to get. You have to be skilled in the art of sucking nuances. So skilled in that <laughs> art. So upcoming contest ideas that because we haven't done a contest in a while. That was a lot of work. But um, and you end up tasting like forty no, <laughs> different drink concoctions. So the the one I'm working with now. This is not yet formalized, but I will announce. So you're it. still gonna spill it. You just can't hold your hold your. Why your am I gonna spill it? But they they said yes. Okay. I just have to come up with some details. But what I want to do, and this will add pressure, so they have to do it. <laughs> yeah. um, is I want I've been working today. I started asking Scrappy's Bitters, the folks who do the like the aromatics from yesterday show. Uh, those guys, they just released a Firewater, which is a super hot habanero. They also have. Um, celery so what i wanted to do is maybe do a contest by those that like super skilled people like people who take this mm -hmm. stuff seriously people not like not us. people who just want to win something to make a like a badass spicy um bloody mary because it's celery i will and not be in that contest <laughs> and i'm gonna see if i can find I some bloody mary experts of that contest you and gotta wait till carrie comes to carrie loves bloody mary that's gonna wait take way too long yeah i know um maybe you should just get her to come down here <laughs> yes i'll fly her down so she can judge. taste this. No, um, just tell her to get down here. So I'm going to see how many contestants I can bring in, but what I want to do is get Scrappies to send me some bottles so I can ship them out to the contestants, and they can build the drink. It will be a select few, because I'm only going to have so many bottles. I think Dawn's wife. I think she likes Bloody Marys. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. And probably Dawn's mother. Possibly. I think She'll she likes anything. She's been on the show. Go watch The Butt Pirate. Uh, <laughs> she was in that episode. and We're filming right now. <laughs> yeah. And so that was one contest. The other one I have is some Lewis bags, the ones that you break ice that, that Curtis has been asking me to get for the store for like a year. So I finally got some in, and I want to give some away, and I just got to figure out what to do about the mallet and how we're going to bang ice. But I got to come up with a contest for that. So if you have any contest ideas on things with Lewis bags, let me know. What did you get for the Scrappies contest? 
Did you ever say? No, I don't actually have anything for it. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's just. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get two bottles get... of scrappies anyway, but I want to get give them a win or something. Like the top three people. I don't know what it will be. It's a surprise. Because we don't even know what it is. It's going to be surprising <laughs> to us. We'll figure it out. Anyway, that's it. You can go to awesomedrinks.com get yourself, oh, the coupe glass is out of stock. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> we get the bigger version, because some people mail these back saying, too small. That's true. But guess what? We get a bigger Why one. Why do they do that? They should just look at the measurements. It's right on the website. It's, it's hard, hard to know. It's out of the image. You just get a ruler. I put them on there. It's just how and then, it is. Then, then, then. Okay, fine. You can go out and get yourself the, ma does this have? Oh, this is an old, oh, I have an older one, but the, the, the modern mixologist logo is on the newer ones. I'm a modern mixologist. Mixing beakers. I know. <laughs> it, but we haven't been stuck. That's the news flash. <laughs> news flash. Ba -da -ba -da -da. We sell stuff. People buy. Um, <laughs> that is it, my friends. We're done here. EverydayDrinkers.com. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you don't, it's a violation of every treaty that is known. You should it's always subscribe. Agreement. It's a user agreement. If you've signed up for YouTube, you have to like and subscribe to every common man cocktails. Video, Ever. but you only have to subscribe to it once because if you subscribe to it twice, it unsubscribes <laughs> you. So don't do that. That would be stupid. And then subscribe again. Right. Recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Always that. subscribe an odd number of times. Right. Prime numbers. That no, is. Odd. Right. Oh, yes. On, uh, I, maybe. Yeah, either that or evens. I don't have to go no. one. No. One puts you on, two puts you off, three puts you on. Odd numbers odd only numbers. on your subscription buttons. <laughs> Preferably just once. <laughs> recipe at everydaydrinkers.com if you want to submit recipes for the show to be included. Something that we can put in here. Don't post them. You can if you want to. You can post them on Facebook on the it wall, anywhere else. Gone. But it won't count. I don't see those. I see them, but I won't remember them when I'm composing recipes. So, submit them the right way, please. Eric, that's it. We're done. Where do you submit them? Recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Thank you. Or you can just go to everyjerkers.com and click the recipe clicky at the top. Do it. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> <laughs>